Masters Vessel Classical Academy, Primary Section. On the Roll. Hello, pupils at home. I am Mrs. Mbono Esther Chinamso. The subject we have now is Computer Studies. For primary three opios. The topic is Introduction to Microsoft Paint Application. Introduction to Microsoft Paint Application. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to number one, define Microsoft Paint Application. Define Microsoft Paint application. Number two, state the steps used to load Microsoft Paint. State the steps used to load Microsoft Paint. Number three, name at least five tools used in Paint application. Name at least five tools. Use in paint application. All right. Children, I would like you to boot your computer. This topic is practical. And you're going to make use of your computer in order to understand the lesson well. Microsoft Paint application is a program or software that enables the user to draw and paint objects. I take it again. Microsoft Paint application is a program or software that enables the user to draw and paint objects. Microsoft Paint is mainly used for drawing and coloring of your words, objects. And we are going to look at how to load or open Microsoft Paint. To load Microsoft Paint, number one step is click on Start button. I want you to look at the desktop. You will see the Start button at the bottom left of the task bar. Click on Start button. When you click on Start button, the Start menu list will appear. Click on All Programs. Click on All Programs. When you click on All Programs, a drop-down menu will appear. In that drop-down menu, click on Accessories. Click on Accessories. When you click on Accessories, another drop-down menu will appear. Then, in that drop-down menu, click on Paint. Click on Microsoft Paint. When you do that, the Paint environment will open. Now, how do you exit from Microsoft Paint application? How do you close the environment when you open it? 
to close Microsoft Paint application. There are two ways to do that, but the one here is the easiest one you can do. To close Microsoft Paint application, go to the control button, the top right of the control button. You will see a sign, X, X sign. Click on X button to close the Paint application. Click on X button to close the Paint application. Once you do that, the environment will automatically close. You can equally close Paint application by clicking on the File menu. When you click on the File menu, you will see a drop-down menu. Then, click on Exit. Click on exit. Exit is E X I T. Exit. Once you click on exit, paint environment will close. That is how to close paint environment. Children, I want you to load Microsoft Paint using the steps we mentioned now. And then when you open it, also close the environment. Chiamaka, can you do that? Now practice it. Okay, let us look at the tools used in Microsoft Paint application. We are going to identify those tools. These tools are used to draw and paint your objects. In the toolbox, you will see Free form select tool. Take your mouse pointer, point on the first tool in the tool box. Free form select tool. This tool is used to select or highlight your object. Number two is eraser tool. Eraser tool. It is used to clean your mistakes. If you are drawing and you made a mistake, you click on eraser tool to erase it. The number three is pick color tool. Pick color tool. The pick color tool is used to add color to your line. When you draw a line and you want that line to have color, you click on pick color tool and select the color of your choice in the color palette. That line will be, will be in colored form, either red, blue, green, or any one. Any one of your choice. Number four, we have pencil tool. Pencil tool is used to draw. It is used to draw shapes or objects. Then we have airbrush tool. Airbrush tool. The airbrush tool is used to spray colors on your objects. We have the line tool. Line tool is used to draw line. 
Then they will have rectangle two. Rectangle two is used to draw a rectangle shape. Then we have fill with color two. Fill with color two. This is used to fill the background of your objects. When you draw a shape and you want to color the background of that shape, then click on fill with color. Select any color of your choice and then click on that object. The object or the shape will have the color of your choice. Then we have magnifier 2. We have magnifier 2. Magnifier is used to zoom your object to make it large. Then we have test 2. Test 2. Test 2 is used to write a test. Maybe after drawing your object, you want to give it a name. Click on the test to draw and then write your test. Then the next one is polygon 2. Polygon 2 is used to draw polygon shape. The next one is rounded rectangle. Rounded rectangle is also used to draw a rectangle. The edges are rounded in shape. It's different from rectangle two. Then we have curve two. Curve two. Curve two is used to draw a curve line. The next one is ellipse two. Ellipse two is used to draw a circle. If you want to draw a circle, you click on this ellipse two and then drag on your area, the paint area environment where you make your drawings. You click on ellipse two and draw, you will have your circle. These are the tools we use to make drawings or shapes in Microsoft Paint application. Remember, we said that Microsoft Paint application is a program or a software used for drawing and painting objects. Don't forget the steps we outlined on how to open or load Microsoft Paint. And then, I also taught you how you can close Paint environment. After you might have finished what you are doing in Paint and you want to exit from that environment. You go to the S button on the control box and click on X. The environment will automatically close. And we also identify the tools used in Paint application. Children, I want you to name at least five tools you identified in Paint application. Rejoice, give me one. Rectangle two. Thank you. Chica. 
Another one. Fill with color two. Thank you. Joy. Magnify two. Thank you. Prosper. Can you give me any one? Test two. Thank you. How many have we mentioned? Four. Is many one. Uh huh. Chica. Another one. Polygon two. Thank you. Now, these are the tools we can use to draw and also color the objects we have drawn in Microsoft Paint. So, here we call it a wrap for today's lesson. Now, I want you to take down this assignment. Number one, define Microsoft Paint application. Define Microsoft Paint application. Number two, state the steps used to load Microsoft Paint. State the steps used to load Microsoft Paint. Number three, name at least five tools used in Paint application. Name at least five tools used in Paint application. I am Mrs. Mbono S. Dachinomso. Until we meet next time, don't forget to stay safe. Bye for now. Thank you.